Hey there, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while I have posted a video and today I am back with one of the FISD and FIMM integration topics. It's a small but a critical topic with respect to how accounting documents are posted in finance. So let's start with the question. Let's try to understand what is the scenario. I'm having two billing documents ending with 21 and 22. Both are completely same. Here we're having the same net value. The same two materials have been filled and both are having same values and even the tax amount is also same in both of this if we compare these two. So this is completely the same. Let me also go into one of the line items and let us see the conditions. Here also if we see the conditions, the entire pricing is also completely the same. Everything is same. It is just a kind of copy. But if we go to the accounting part of this, we will see a slight difference in the accounting. So this is the difference in the accounting. The value on the customer, which is the open amount is same. The sales, revenue, freight and tax accounts also having the same amounts. But if you see the postings, the sales revenue and the freight expense accounts are now split into line items. So this is posting as per each and every line item. Whereas in this document, it is posting as a whole for the entire billing document. So what is this difference? How do we achieve this difference? And why do we need this difference? So we'll try to understand that in this video. So before we go into the video, do not forget to like the videos if you are finding it useful, subscribe to the channel. And also you can contribute for my work by clicking on join or even by clicking on super thanks below the video. So what is this concept? This concept is called as document summarization. Document summarization, as the name says, is a concept provided by SAP where we can reduce the number of line items in the accounting document that is posted. This is not restricted to the sales module. This is not something that is happening only in the FISD, but this can be done in FIMM integration as well, FISD integration, even within the FI document as well. So this document summarization is a generalized concept that is available for all the modules within SAP and it ultimately impacts the accounting document. So why do we need it? Before we even go to the configurations of how to do it, let us try to understand why do we need this document summarization. So document summarization is required to reduce the number of line items and we in turn require restricting the number of line items to satisfy with the BSEG restriction of a maximum of 999 line items in a BSEG table. So we all know that if at all we are posting any billing document or even a FIMM document or even the FI document, when we are posting a document, if it is having more than 999 line items, then we need to implement a SAP note which will split the document into two different documents. So anything beyond 999 line items will be posted in a second document which is linked with the first document. So this is a standard restriction that we have and why do we have it? Because in basic table in the ECC world, the line item field has only a limit of three characters. That means it can accept a value of only 999. So that is still continuing as the same in S4 as well. Even though AC doc supports more, but BSEG is also posted at the same time. So we have that restriction in place. And even in other cases, even if you're having less than 999, document summarization is still important because it helps us to reduce the number of line items and it helps us to do a quicker reconciliation. The documents are not heavier. The database space is managed well. It is not occupied unnecessarily. And the system also takes lesser time to read the data. So these are all different advantages that we have in the document summarization. So if you go to the configuration, where can we do this configuration? This configuration can be done in the transaction code OBCY. Here, if we see, it is asking us the reference procedures. So let us see the available values for this one. These are all the different values. So by now, if we see, you know, we understand that document summarization is possible in every area. It is possible for all the entries posted via accrual engine or asset transactions. Even within assets also, you can drill down to whether it is asset transaction or a depreciation, different type of asset transactions, like for example, asset transfers, ANLA and all that. We are having settlements or we are also having other COPA related transactions here. We also have billing related transactions within FI itself. We're having BKPF and on the MM side as well, we will have different type of 
object types for the or reference procedures for document summarization. So in our case, we are taking the reference procedure as VBRK. Let us see what is VBRK, that is billing document. So any entry that is posting into FI from the billing document will be summarized at this reference procedure. So if I double click this, these are the different fields at which the document summarization is happening. So that means system is going to combine multiple line items of data into one single entry in the accounting document for all these fields. So when I posted the first document, that means the document where we are having a single amount for the whole document. Here we are also having other fields like material. So MATNR, MATNR is also one of the field which we had in this configuration. So that is the reason for multiple materials the accounting document is not split into different line items. It had summed up the entire value and posted as a single value for revenue and freight. Summarization of output tax account or the tax entries is not maintained in this configuration. That is coming from the standard tax configurations which is completely out of the scope of this video. But this configuration impacts all other line items like sales revenues or discounts or freight expenses. So when we had material number here, system had summed up the values for all materials and posted as a single line item. So after I have deleted this, system is now considering different material as a different line item with respect to posting the accounting document. So that is the reason we had two different entries, one for line item 1 and other one for line item 2. So if I try to add a material field here. So if you see here, there are two different materials X and Y. So if you go to the other document, and let us add a material here. So here there is no material because here we are not posting an entry for individual material, but we are combining all the values and posting as a single line entry. Now if you go to the general ledger view of this, this is completely the same for both the documents. So if I am going to GL view for both the documents and putting these side by side. So if you see here it is completely the same, it is looking pretty much the same, just the line items are not in the same sequence, but let me add it in the same sequence. So see here, the values are completely the same. So that means from a general ledger point of view, that means from a AC docket point of view, we are storing at an individual line item level from the billing document. But whereas in BSEG, we are summarizing it at different fields as per the configuration that is maintained in OBCY. So that is the reason, you know, if you see here, the table name is always BSEG. This is not AC docket. So the summarization is happening at a BSEG level. So reducing the table storage of BSEG, it is helping us to not overshoot the 999 line item limit. There might be a case even after summarization, we might overshoot, but still this helps us to a maximum extent of reducing that issue. So this is about a document summarization. So as I said, this document summarization can be done for even MM or FI MM integration as well. So just that we need to choose the right reference procedure and that will help us to summarize at that level. So here we have material ledger. So all the entries posted as a part of a MIGO transaction, maybe a goods issue or a GRIR. So all that will be controlled by this material ledger reference procedure. So try out document summarization for different reference procedures and let me know if you're having any issues that you're facing in the comment section. I'll try to respond it at the earliest. Hope you have found this video useful. Do not forget to like it and share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. It will really help me to motivate post many such videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.